I'm Kathy with Level Up RN. In this episode of Ask a Nurse, I'll be answering your questions about C. diff, such as what is C. diff? What are the symptoms of a C. diff infection? And how is a C. diff infection diagnosed and treated? C. diff is a type of bacteria that can cause diarrhea and colitis, which is inflammation of the colon. C. diff is short for Clostridioides difficile, which was previously called Clostridium difficile. Symptoms of a C. diff infection include diarrhea, so loose watery stools, as well as fever, abdominal pain, nausea, and loss of appetite. In addition, individuals with a C. diff infection are at increased risk for dehydration because diarrhea leads to the loss of fluids. And in severe cases, a C. diff infection can cause a serious intestinal condition called toxic megacolon, as well as sepsis. C. diff spores are commonly found in the environment. People come in contact with these spores when they touch food or objects that are contaminated with the feces of an infected person. But even with exposure to the bacteria, most people do not get sick if they have a healthy microbiome. A microbiome is a collection of microorganisms, such as bacteria and fungi, that live on your skin and inside your body and that microbiome helps to protect you from infection. However, when an individual takes antibiotics, this disrupts the microbiome. And if that person comes in contact with C. diff during the time when their microbiome is disrupted, this increases the likelihood that they will get sick. Recent antibiotic use is the number one risk factor for getting a C. diff infection. Other risk factors include being over the age of 65, having a weakened immune system, a recent stay in the hospital or nursing home, as well as a previous C. diff infection. In terms of diagnosis, your healthcare provider will review your medical history and symptoms, and if they suspect that you may have a C. diff infection, then a stool sample will be ordered. And this sample will be tested for the presence of C. diff bacteria or toxins produced by the bacteria. If your stool is positive for a C. diff infection, then treatment typically includes taking a specific antibiotic that is effective against this bacteria, such as metronidazole or vancomycin. And in severe cases, hospitalization may be necessary. Unfortunately, one out of six people will have recurrent C. diff infections. For these individuals, a fecal microbiota transplant, or FMT, may be recommended. During this procedure, the stool from a healthy donor is processed and then implanted into the colon of an infected person to help reestablish a healthy microbiome. As a nurse, I have cared for several patients who have had a fecal transplant, and it was life-changing for them. Some people get really grossed out by the idea of a fecal transplant, but it's important to know that over 30,000 people die from a C. diff infection each year. So having a procedure like this available absolutely saves lives. In terms of prevention, washing your hands with soap and water is the best way to prevent the spread of C. diff. If someone in your home has a C. diff infection, then cleaning and disinfecting surfaces can help reduce your risk of infection. And then finally, it is super important to only take antibiotics when they are needed and as prescribed by your healthcare provider. That's it for this episode of Ask a Nurse. I hope it was helpful. And if you have a health-related topic or question you'd like me to address in a future episode, then leave that in the comments. Stay informed and stay well.